Well, the big questions now are all about Jan Demir Lear. Who was this man and why would he do this? KXLY 4's McKay Allen spoke to Demir Lear's neighbor, family members and employer to try to get some answers. McKay. Hi, Robin. Yeah, this is the home right behind me where Rebecca Shearing and Jan Demir Lear lived together for almost five years. It is also the place where yesterday morning Demir Lear returned from murder and took his own life. The police came and knocked on our door and, and it asked uh, if we'd seen Jan. That was 4.50 yesterday morning. Brent Tibbetts looked out his window and saw the SWAT team gathering around his next door neighbor's house. It was shocking. Tibbetts moved in next door to Jan Dimmerlier five years ago. At the time, Rebecca Shearing was living with Jan. Jan had taken her twin boys, Jack and Philip, under his wing, treating them like his own. Playing ball and doing all the things out in the front yard with them. Good family man. Tibbetts says Jan was firm with Rebecca's boys, but not abusive. She was more of a free spirit. He was more of a authoritarian, more of a discipline disciplinarian. One of the boys, Philip, began taking karate lessons at Tibbetts Karate School. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. But then Jan temporarily lost a job, a business venture of his own, Grumpy's Car Wash, stopped making money. Then last fall, amid rumors of physical abuse, Rebecca left. And when she left, Jan changed. Jan became more distant from us. But there were no signs, nothing that could point to what happened. Jan shooting and killing Rebecca and little karate student Philip. They, they didn't deserve any of that. Uh, it's, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's devastating. We spoke with members of Jan's family today. They expressed nothing but shock about what happened. We also talked to his boss. He says Jan was a wonderful employee and also expressed shock about what happened. And you can see they're trying to clean the house up now, um, but just a tragedy. This whole neighborhood right now simply can't believe what has happened. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXOY4HD News.